the simple fact is I always get altitude sickness, I always get chronic headaches, and they always kick in around 3,200 meters. And it's something I have to try and overcome. It's, it's a bit of a debilitation because, you know, altitude sickness, when you get it bad, it's like the worst hangover you've ever had in your life. I did everything I could to minimize the effects of acclimatization. You know, I'll take anything I can, any supplements I can. So I slipped to Viagra on my, on my summit night, yeah. The extra blood being pumped around his body did little to help Hayes, as he soon realized that the bladder for his gas mask was failing. When it came from the balcony onwards, then the guys sort of just took off, they zoomed away and just, just were steadily pulling away from me. And um, it was only when it got to daybreak, I'd been climbing then from 10.45 to about 5 in the, in the morning, um, and I got to a stage where I just sort of slowed down to, a, not a crawl, but I just slowed down to a, a little bit of a, a nothing. You know, tears started welling up in my eyes. I couldn't believe it that, that three years in planning, a lifelong dream, and, and, and I'd done really well on the whole thing so far, was just going to fail because of a broken mask. 